good morning everyone good morning welcome you all to core practice take a moment to find a comfortable position either seated on your chair or yoga mat make sure you have some water and tissue box and blocks handy <clears throat> We're just going to take a moment to check in, checking in with your body. Take a deep breath in, relax your shoulders, lengthen your spine. Bring awareness to your core center, to your navel. Deep breath into your navel, expanding. <clears throat> Exhaling, gently hugging in as you relax through the body. Gently activating your core with your breath, bringing into your lower back, into sides, into your inhale, expanding, exhaling, gently hugging your pelvic floor, your navel. Keeping the length in your spine, bring your hands to Dhyana Mudra. <clears throat> and from here, we're going to begin with Anuloma Valoma, two sets of 10, Anuloma Valoma Pranayama. Alternate nostril breath. Whenever you're ready, begin deep inhalation through the left, pausing, switching, exhaling through the right. Pause, inhale to the right. Deep, long, soothing breath. Pause and exhale. The exhale, exhalation is more exaggerated. <clears throat> Just like lightly blowing your nose for 10 rounds. As we finish 10, relax your arms, bring your hands to the top of your legs, elbows relax, shoulders relax. Take a deep breath into your heart space, lifting your heart, see if you can feel your navel, feeling your core. Settle in, invite your intention for today's practice. And begin with second set, <clears throat> Anuloma Valoma for 10 rounds.
<clears throat> finishing on the left, balancing, harmonizing breath. Notice your breath. Notice the depth of your breathing and how it shifts after Anuloma Viloma. Just observing your breath. So being in that meditative state in between pranayama, either inviting your intention and notice how that energy shifts the depth of your being or meditating on soul hum mantra. If you find your mind busy and outside of this body, outside of this room, <clears throat> Just bringing it back, awareness, senses on your breath. We are going to do two sets of Kapalabhati, three minutes each. I will set the timer here. Now all the awareness on the navel, belly breathing, deep inhalation, strong contraction to exhale. Whenever you're ready, begin. Slow it down. And finish up. <clears throat> Take a deep breath in. Lift your heart. Open your chest. Stretch through the belly. When you're ready, exhale through the mouth. Just notice mm -hmm. 
We are beyond this physical body. We are energy. And Kapalabhati activates, balances 72,000 nadis, energy channels from the core, from the navel. Kapalabhati is very powerful, strengthening pranayama. It strengthens your heart, strengthens your cardiovascular system, cleanses the blood, cleanses pranic energy channels, and brings clarity to the mind. Second set, Kapalabhati, whenever you're ready. Begin nice and slow, finding your flow. Pausing if you have to pause and just breathing. If you need a break, focus on your core. Strong action. Slow it down. And finishing up. Take a deep breath into your belly, into your navel, 
and expand. And as you exhale, gently activating, contracting, lifting your pelvic floor, abdominals hugging through the sides. And then as the inhalation comes, relax, expand, and again, exhaling, draw that energy in from the base of your spine, from your sit bones. Inhaling, expanding. Two more times. And coming back to center, coming to Haryom Mantra Pranayama, Ujjit Pranayama. Deep inhalation as you exhale, draw your chin down. Inhale here through the nose, and as you exhale, resonating that mantra, Hari, to the top, and Om, coming back, skipping the length through the back of your neck, and gently <clears throat> compressing your chin down, activating through your throat chakra, your thyroid gland. So whenever you're ready, five, seven rounds, wherever you are, Whatever resonates with you, let's begin. Uh, center, deep breath in, draw your vision to your third eye center in between your eyebrows, just beyond that, gaze into the top of your crown. Strengthening your ocular musculature, stimulating your pineal gland to release happy hormones. So you can Come here any time when we pause in between pranayama. If that speaks to you, Coming back to center, shitali, rolling your tongue, breathing cool air, deep soothing inhalation, nice and slow, and exhaling warm air through the nose for seven.
And as you finish, pause, enjoy that cool air that kindles the agony, but also balances the fire element in the stomach. And from here, we'll come to Agni Sara. Deep inhalation into the belly. Exhale, draw the navel in and up. Empty completely. And from here, massage. Massage your belly. So just massaging for as long as you can. Breathing in. When the inhalation rises, exhale into relax. Meditating on your intention. One more set, Agni Sara, really going deep. Deep breath into the navel, exhale, draw the navel in and up, empty completely. And then deep expansion, relaxation and contraction. Nice and slow. Meditate on your heart space, listen to your heart. Then from here, begin cat and cow seated, deep inhalation. Lengthening the spine, opening your heart and exhale down and cooling in with your own flow. Notice if there's any tension in your body and where do you need to go? Where do you need to breathe? Where do you need to relax using your breath? Just a few more, feeling that wave in your spine, length in your spine, rounding your spine, moving from your pelvis, from your hips, tilting your pelvis forward and back. And from here, coming to center and pause. Either seated on the chair or coming to stand if you choose to stand. We're going to open the spine. So first inhale the right arm up, lengthening through the right side of your body. Root down through your left hand, inhale deep, lengthen big 
breath lifting your shoulder your armpit reaching up and then exhale side flexion to the left pause here breathe into the right side of your body gently pulsing with your breath keep your right hip heavy but keep your front hip relaxed. The tendency is to grip. So just notice, observe. And on your next inhale, coming back to center, stretch even more and then exhale, release that arm and switch. Inhaling left arm comes up. Deep breath into your heart space. Exhale, draw the navel in, side flexion. Breathing here, gently pulsing here. And then inhale, stretch even more, exhale, release, bring your hands together, very gently draw circles, flexion, extension through your wrists, releasing any stiffness, interlacing your fingers, hugging your fingers. And come to roll your wrists, relax your shoulders. Keep sitting tall, hugging your core gently. And then exhale your palms forward just to stretch your wrist. Inhale, lift over the head, aligning your shoulders with your ears. Take a deep breath in and again, exhale, hug your core. In that position, lengthening being aligned, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, draw the pelvic floor in, hanging through your core. Exhale completely, keep that activation and inhale into your heart space. Inhaling into your armpits, lift even higher. And then exhale, bend your elbows, release, relax, bring your palms down to your legs and pause. Allow that energy to circulate through your arms, your wrist, your hands, your fingers. And from here, either holding a block or holding a tissue box or just your arms up. We're coming to sit with feet hip distance apart, knees over your heels and coming to lift the block up over your head. If you have the block, gently hug the block, activating through your core, activating through your shoulders, gently hugging skin to muscle, muscle to bone. Take a deep breath in and exhale, settle in. On your next inhalation, we're going to root down through the left foot and inhale the right knee up without changing your upper body. Exhale down, inhale, root through the right, lift the left leg. Just noticing what muscles are activating. We are working on transverse abdominals. Very subtle, very easy, activating these muscles. So keep alternating with your breath, inhaling up, exhale lower. If your arms, shoulders get too tired, you can bring the block behind your head. And lower your elbows, open through your heart. Keep the length in your spine. And keep alternating, lifting one leg at a time, sitting tall. Lift your pelvic floor. Keep your core active, gently hugging. One more on each side. And 
Beautiful, exhale, release the block and then walk your feet wide, sit back, we're coming into a forward fold. Inhale your arms up and from here, exhale, bring your hands to your thighs, coming forward, giving the length through the spine. And just allow your sit bones to peel off the chair, take a deep breath into your belly, big Buddha belly. Keep the length in your spine, keep your head above your heart. Deep breath into your lower back. Exhale through the mouth. Couple more breaths. Deep breath into your heart space and as you exhale, release your head if you can. Releasing your head. And from here, deep breath into your back space. Breathing in and out. And when you're ready, slowly inhaling, rising up, activate through your core, rounding your spine, coming up to center, head comes last and pause, bring your feet together. Bring the block in between your legs, hug your block. Gently hugging, activating through your core, lift your pelvic floor. And from here, inhale the right arm up. Keep squeezing the block, root down through the left side. Inhale, reach up, exhale, side flexion. Deep breath in, lengthen the spine, exhale, go a little bit deeper. Now inhale, draw your right shoulder back, use your core. And from here, hugging the block, we're going to inhale using that breath in the right side of your body to bring you up. And then exhale, coming back to flexion. Again, inhale, lifting, rising. Keep activating through your pelvic floor. And exhale to the side. Focus on the right side, right obliques, right side, your rib cage. Inhaling up. And exhale to flex, C-shaping the spine, and again. One more. And exhale, release, release the block, shake it out. Feet hip distance apart, grab the block, lift it up over your head. Stand your arms, roll your shoulders back, gently hugging your block, draw your navel and pelvic floor in. And from here, beginning on the left side, inhale your left leg up, exhale lower, inhale right, exhale lower, and keep going. Activating the lowest part of your abdominal. Feel the muscles, bring awareness to feel the muscles of your core. Maybe you're feeling your psoas, your hip flexor as we lift, but bring awareness also to your core, your front, and notice what muscles are contracting. Isolating the lower body from the upper body, and that requires Muscles, strong muscles to hold in that position. Almost there, one more on each side. And exhale, release the block. Inhale your arms up, interlace your fingers, stretch, flip your palms up. Lengthen through the spine as much as you can. 
And then exhale, bend your elbows, release your arms, bring your hands down to your thighs, forward fold, connecting belly to thighs, all the way, nice and slow, and pause here, deep breath. And extending, lengthening your spine, releasing any tension from fascia, tissue, your lower back, your pelvis, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently hugging your core, activating. Then inhale, slowly rising up. Bring the block in between your legs. Hugging a block, inhale, left arm up. Do down through the right hand. And from here, keeping the length, exhale. See shaping the spine, side flexion to the right. Keep hugging the block. Draw your left shoulder back deep, inhale, expand. And from here, activating through your obliques, inhale, rising. And exhale, flexing to the side for eight. Keep your neck relaxed, your jaw relaxed. Keep hugging the block. See if you can feel your navel, hug your navel even more. And if your arm gets tired, you can bend your elbow and bring your hand behind to support your neck. And finishing up. And coming back to center, release the block. We're coming to draw the right knee up and cross the right leg over, hug your legs together. Inhaling left arm up, deep breath in, lift your heart, stretch through the navel. Exhale, draw the navel in as you twist, release your arm and then align your heart, your shoulders. Inhale, deep breath in, exhale, twist. We're going to twist gently with breath pulsing with breath. Meditating on your lower lumbar spine. See if you can breathe to the back, to your kidney area. You can place your right hand right over your kidney area and breathe into your hand. And inhaling back to center, release your legs, shake it out, grab the block, plant your feet flat, hip distance apart, align your knees over your heels. Inhale, lift the block over your head. Deep breath in, activate your core. As you exhale, hold that activation. And with inhalation, root down through the left, lift the right knee up, straight up, any amount. Pause, again, inhaling up, exhaling down. Keep the length through your spine. Keep your core active. Be very mindful, connecting the movement with your breath. One more on each side. And then exhale, bend your elbows, release the block. Don't heal your feet out. Take a deep breath in, exhale into a forward fold. Keep all that length through your spine. Round in your spine if you can, allowing your head to hang heavy. Take a deep breath into your lower back. Exhale through the mouth. Deep breath into your thoracic spine. 
Deep breath into your neck area. Into your shoulder blades, into your shoulders, top of your shoulders. And on your next inhalation, gently and slowly scooping, activating through your legs, scooping pelvic floor, navel, and rounding your spine and coming to sit. And lifting your head, the chin comes last. And pause. Toe heel your feet in. Bring your left knee up, cross your legs together, hug through your hip creases. From here, inhaling right, arm comes up. Deep breath in, exhale, navel in, twist. Pause in your twist. Gently pulsing. And noticing if there's any area of tension, maybe you just want to stay there, be there, breathe into that area. Inhaling, expanding, creating more space and exhaling, gently contracting. So you're activating all the cells, activating the prana energy, moving the flow. So if there's any blockages, any tension, there's obstruction of the flow of prana energy. So with that breath and gentle expansion and contraction with grace, gently hugging, massaging those tissues, massaging the energy, allowing it to flow. When you're ready, inhaling back to center and release, shake it up. We are going to come to stand. So take your time. Come to stand beside your chair, feet hip distance apart. Shift the weight to the back, micro bend your knees, feel your feet, curl your toes. Just waking up your feet. Notice the feeling. Gently with control, lift your heels and lower down. Shift the weight back, hold on to the chair. And from here, eversion, pause here, shift the weight forward and back. And coming to eversion, coming to gently put pressure on the balls of the big toes, lifting your toes, spreading your toes. Micro movement of shifting the weight gently, putting some weight, pressing in. Beautiful. From here, just walk it off, high knees, stepping side to side, loosen up your hips. Have the block handy. We're going to come to standing table first. So feet hip distance apart, spread your toes, connect with your toes, feeling grounded. Micro bend your knees, micro bend your hips and coming to a forward fold, hinging from the hips, bring your hands to the chair, extend through your knees as much as you can, lifting your sit bones, lengthening your spine, draw the navel in, hug through the sides of your core, Take a deep inhale in, expanding through the spine, lengthening through the spine. And from here, begin. Inhale, relax the belly, deep relaxation, drop the belly, navel down to the floor. And then exhale, draw the navel in without changing your spine, keeping your spine in neutral. If you have too much tension through the back of your legs, micro bend your knees, keep lifting your tail, your sit bones. And just belly breath using the gravity. Notice the relaxation through the thoracolumbar fascia, the diamond shaped fascia on your back. A few more just like that. And from here, we're coming to look forward. Step your right leg closer to the chair, align your heel with your knee. Step your left leg back, coming into a high lunge. 
Just wiggle your foot down to come low, as low as you can. Inhaling, arms come up. Strong legs, root down through your feet. And exhale your hands to cactus position. And from here, we're going to gently exhale to the right, twisting to the right. Inhaling back to center and exhale to the left, back to center. And again, exhale to the right, back to center. Exhale to the left and center. One more round, just like that. Inhaling, coming back to center, bring your hands forward, extend through the front knee and pause. Lift your pelvic floor, activate through the front leg, and then gently using the momentum, hop forward. Beautiful. We are coming to use the block, placing the block down, stepping the right leg on top of the block, hover the left leg in. If you don't have the block, you can still do this without the block. We're going to work on the left side obliques, keeping your hip relaxed, your leg just working as a weight, using the gravity and weight of our body. So from here, we're going to extend the left arm, bend the elbow, and as we exhale, we're just going to squeeze your left hip towards your left shoulder, and inhale, lengthen and stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhaling up for 12, exhaling, squeeze. Keep your spine in alignment. Avoid folding forward, avoid rounding your spine. It's just hip and the shoulder. Hugging, contracting, squeezing, using your exhalation as if you could exhale through that left side. Connect the movement with your breath. Full inhale. Breathing to the top of your lungs and exhale. You can add that she sound through the mouth. Last. Beautiful. Now we're going to step the right leg back, coming into a high lunge. So bring your left knee forward, right leg back, nice and slow. Align. Coming to sit low with the hips. Remember to root down through the left toes. So you're hugging your front leg all the way, loading, building strong bones. Inhale your arms up. Exhale into the cactus. Lift your pelvic floor, navel in. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. You can add that shh. Keep the length in the spine. Shh. Keep isolating. Shh. One more on each side. Coming back to center, lean forward, shift forward, extend through the front leg, pause, and from here, using the momentum, shift forward and back, hop forward. Coming into forward fold, hands on the chair for cat and cow with articulating and rounding your spine. So extending through the back of your legs, so look down through your toes. The, Tendency is just to forget about the toes. We put weight on the knuckles, but we don't really put enough weight on the toe, on the, um, the tips of your toes. So gently pressing the tips of your toes down through the big toe and the ball and feeling the arc, arches lift. Activating through your legs, lengthen the spine, 
big cat and cow inhale lift your chin drop the belly lift your tail and sit bones exhale coil in press the chair away lift your armpits chin to chest look at your navel and then again inhale and exhale deep steady breath One more here. Beautiful. Sit back, coming back to center, coming to step again, right leg on the block, same side of the body. Inhaling, lengthening through the left side, 12 crunches. Exhale, lift your hip, draw your elbow into your hip, focusing on the shoulder. So it's the length between your shoulder and your hip, Breathing into your left side, using the exhalation to squeeze all the muscles, just like that. It feels good. We forget how many when it feels good. <laughs> if you have enough, pause. We are going to stretch. Or one more here. Coming to step off the block, legs together, lift your arms up, bring your hands together, interlace, flip your palms up. Deep breath in, navel in, stretch your entire being. And then exhale, bend your elbows, bring your right hand to your rib cage, inhale your left arm up and lift your rib cage on the right side. Exhale, come to side flexion. And just pause with your breath, stretching through the left side. And inhale, rising up, coming to warrior two, step the right leg forward, left leg back into warrior position, bending your front knee, lower down any amount and adjust your back foot so your knee feels comfortable. And as you come to warrior, we're coming to reverse the warrior and really stretch deep through the left side. Open your armpit up, look up, gaze up, lift your pelvic floor, navel in, and exhale, go a little bit deeper. Strong legs, toes, the tips of your toes, pressing in, hugging, scooping. Lift your pelvic floor, hug your sit bones, inhale, rise. Exhale, extend through the front knee, toe heel in. Slightly, keeping your legs wide, wide forward fold, feet parallel, inhale your arms up. And then exhale, bend your knees, sit back, bring your hands to your heart, lengthen through the spine, extend through the back of your legs. Draw the navel in here. And then exhale your hands down to your legs, bend your knees, sit back and come to stand. So using the lower body here, toe heel in. Beautiful. Coming for last set, stepping on the block, right foot, hover. Inhale, lengthen through the left side and exhale, squeeze for 12. Use that sound, notice the difference. Notice how it connects you right to the navel. It's almost like you were breathing out from the navel. It's called biophotonic breath. Keep your right side strong.
And finishing up, stepping off, walk it off. You're going to step side to side, swing your legs, relax through your hips, relax through your knees, loose body, relax, shake it off. And slowly coming to stand, feet apart, and gently begin to twist. Allow your arms to hang heavy, just allowing your forearms to bounce off your body. So again, this is one of the exercises from Chinese medicine to activate the meridians, to massage the kidneys, spleen, gallbladder, liver. Very fun to do. Just allow your body to relax your arms, shoulders, relax neck, and begin to look behind you. Just deep breath in and out. And slowly coming into center, bringing the block on the other side of the chair. Now we're going to work on the right side, stepping your left leg on the block, hover your feet, inhaling right arm up, Lengthening, exhale, see how much you can lift, lifting your hips straight up as much as you can. Focusing on shortening that distance between shoulder and hip. And allow your leg to just hang heavy, relax. Finishing up, stepping up, stepping your left leg forward, right leg back, coming into high lunge, opening through the psoas, opening, stretching through the core, inhale your arms up, and exhale then to cactus, draw your lower ribs in, navel in. When you're ready, exhale to the left, inhale center, exhale to the right, inhale center. One more on each side. Bringing your hands forward to your chair, extend through the front knee, shift the weight forward and back, and hop forward, coming to standing table, feet hip distance apart, lengthen through the back of your legs, lengthen your spine. Keep your spine in neutral without changing the spine, deep breath into the navel, drop the belly. And then exhale, draw the navel in, pelvic floor in, have your sit bones, keep your spine in neutral. So isolating, freezing your spine, not moving, not grounding, not articulating, just the belly. Drop and in. From here, shift the weight back, come to stand, pause, stepping your left leg on the block, 12 crunches, inhale, length, and exhale, squeeze. Deep inhale, exhale, you can exhale through the mouth, focus on the navel and all your core muscles, same time focusing on your obliques, just bringing awareness to the front, as you work the side of the body.
Finishing up, coming to stand tall, feet together, inhale your arms up, interlace your fingers, stretch, palms facing up, lengthen, draw the core in again, big toes, toes pressing, tiptoes, bringing that awareness, bringing more weight to the front of your feet, lift your pelvic floor. And then exhale, release. Bring your left hand to your left side of your rib cage. Lift your rib cage. Inhale, right arm up. Grow tall. Draw the core in. All awareness on the core. Exhale, side flex. Feel that length in your spine. Deep breath in and out. Go a little bit deeper, soften as you exhale. And then inhale and coming back to center and release. Stepping your right leg forward, left leg back. Coming into a high lunge. Inhaling your arms into cactus. Open up as you exhale to the right. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Keep your pelvis squared forward. And exhale forward, hands on the chair. Step your left leg forward, right leg back, feet hip distance apart, big cat and calf. Articulating, rounding your spine. Exhale, coil in. Weight to your finger, fingers to your hands and weight to your toes. Hugging, scooping. Just lifting your wrists, making sure you don't collapse in your wrist as you press into the chair to lift your armpit. Draw the navel and gaze down at your navel. Coming back to center, bend your knees, shift back, and back to stepping onto the block with your left foot. Then to hover, 12 repetitions here, deep exhalation, squeeze, inhale, lengthen as much as you can. Five more. Two more. And finishing up, stepping up, coming to warrior two, stepping your left leg forward, right leg back. Finding your warrior position, open your arms wide and coming into reversing. Right arm over the head, deep stretch through the right side. And when you're ready, as you inhale, use your core to rise up. Strong core, strong lower body and reverse. Just for a moment, deep breath in and out. Standing strong in your core, coming back to center. And exhale, pivot on the left heel, toe heel in, slightly coming into wide leg forward fold. Inhale your arms up, lengthen, draw the navel in, low ribs in. And as you exhale, hands together, bend your knees, sit back, lengthen through the spine, bring your hands to your thighs, extend through your elbows, Bring your hands to your knees, above your knees, lengthen the spine here. And as you exhale, extend through your knees, massage your legs as you forward fold, nice and gentle. If you have any heart conditions, always keep your head over the heart, above your heart. Listen to your body. 
And then inhaling, bending the knees, sitting back, hug, sit bones, pelvic floor, walk your hands up, use that core and breath to lift you up. Beautiful, toe heel in. Before we get down on the mat, let's come into Utkatasana. So you can do this on the chair. We're going to come into Utkatasana chair pose with the twist. So legs together, inhaling your hands to your heart and exhale, sitting back. From here, we lift the heart and exhale, come to twist. Lower down, bring your right elbow to your left arm, open your arms wide. You can use the chair for support here. Anytime, you can bring the right hand on the chair and just open into that gentle twist. Keep the length in the spine. Deep breath in and out. Exhale, sit a little bit lower. Watch that right knee, draw the right knee back, square your pelvis, and then exhale into a forward fold, lengthen through the neck, lift your chin up, look forward. On your next inhalation, walk your hands up and come to stand. Come to Tadasana, mountain pose. Beautiful, inhale your arms to your heart center. Exhale, sit back, twist to the other side, left elbow to the right leg. Aligning your hands with your heart, open your arms, any amount, gazing up, looking up, draw the left knee back, square your pelvis, sit back, connect belly to thighs, deep breath, navel in, pelvic floor in. Lengthen through the back of your neck, relax your neck, relax your jaw, and then exhale, bring your hands together, heart space, inhale, rise up, and exhale, pause. Beautiful. So we are going to come in on the mat and bring your chair to the end of the mat, making sure all the legs of the chair are on the mat so the chair does not move. And we're going to come to sit in the middle. And from here, coming to lie on your back. And move towards the chair so you can rest your heels on the chair and your legs are in table. So your knees are just over your pelvis. We're going to use the chair for support. Extend your arms along the body, palms facing down, lift your heart, and then anchor through your shoulder blades, open through your collarbones. And from here, gently point your toes and hover your heels, your feet over the chair. Bringing your spine to neutral, your lumbar spine is off the ground, activate through your core. And from here, we're going to gently tap and extend one leg at a time. So we're going to tap and extend, holding your legs in table, tap to the chair, extend, holding, tap and extend, Bring your legs together. If you can, hug your knees together just to isolate. Relax your jaw, gently draw your chin to your chest, lengthen through the back of your neck, gently pressing through the back of your head, rooting down through your arms. One more on each side. And then draw your knees in, relax through your lower back, draw your knees into your armpits. Take a deep breath into your lower back. Beautiful. From here, placing your feet hip distance apart, right on the chair. Draw your toes in, 
So resting your ankles um, right on the chair. And from here, we're just going to tilt the pelvis. So we're going to inhale, drop your big bone away from the navel and exhale, draw navel in, pubic bone to navel, gently pressing through the lower back. So it's a very subtle movement. Inhaling, expanding, draw pubic bone away from the navel, exhale, coil in, gently pressing your lower back into the mat. One more and coming back to neutral. As you finish, inhale, bring your lower back to neutral, pubic bone aligned in one plane with your pelvis. Root down through your arms along your body, lift your legs to table and notice the activation of your core just to hover your legs. From here, we're going to exhale and gently slide your heels away only a few inches and then inhaling, draw your knees in, keeping your lower leg in one plane as if you were sliding your lower legs on table, nice and settle, activating through the core, exhaling away, inhaling in, eight more. Nice and slow with control, keeping your legs in table, gently gliding as you hover, and then draw those knees in, trying to keep your lower legs parallel to the floor as much as you can. Very gentle movement, very effective to balance those muscles, to stabilize lower back and pelvis. One more. Coming back to center, draw your knees in, curl in, bring your hands to your knees, and then move your knees away. From here, we're going to draw circles, outlining those circles right on the mat clockwise. Notice if you can feel that circle with all the muscles, all the tissues as you outline. How big is your circle? Can you connect to the sides as if you were drawing a clock? Just checking that connection, bringing awareness and reverse. Coming back to center, bring your legs to table, gently hovering over the chair, open your arms wide to the side, anchor through your shoulders, through your arms. And from here, we're going to come into twist. So exhaling legs together, twist to the left, anchor through the right shoulder. You can even move your head to the opposite direction, creating a spinal twist. Exhaling legs to the right, head to the left and coming back to center. Exhaling, moving your legs, just any amount. Feeling those muscles active, core is active. Exhaling to the side. Inhaling back center and exhaling to the side. Inhaling back center and from here, draw your knees and hug your knees. Draw your chin into your chest. We're going to come back, arms along the body, palms facing down. Align your legs and hover 
And from here, you're going to tap to the chair and then extend all the way up, coming back to center, tap, extend. So as you extend, you gently draw that leg in towards you using your hip flexor, using your core muscles. Keep hugging, lower back in neutral. We're not collapsing the spine. So the key is when you extend the leg and draw gently in, the tendency is to collapse through the lower back. So just by hugging, we are strengthening all these intrinsic muscles, not only working on the abdominal like core front, but also the back, that's so important. Pelvic floor. So it's a very gentle, easy movement, very effective. One more on each side. Draw your knees in, rounding your spine, bring your knees to your armpits, coming into happy baby, reach for your ankles or the edges of your feet or your shins and gently rock side to side. Coming back to center, bring your legs to table, arms along the body, palms facing down. Exhaling, sliding your legs forward, inhaling in. Exhale, sliding out, inhaling in for eight. Keep your legs together if you can. Knees together, ankles together as much as you can. Lower back in neutral. Imagine that truffle underneath your lower back. And we don't want to squish that truffle. Relax your face. And coming to stretch, draw your knees in. Extend your legs out, point and flex through your ankles. This is probably my favorite. And from here, bring your arms open to the side, palms facing down, legs to table, coming into a twist. Deep inhalation, spine in neutral, anchor. And then exhale, your legs to the left, look to the right, coming back to center. Exhale to the right, inhale back to center. So you can take it as far as you can, um, as deep as you can, depending on the mobility of your spine, using those legs as weight as you twist, the lower you get to the floor, the harder it is. Making sure you are in alignment. One more on each side. And coming back to center and come to happy baby for a moment. From here, extend your legs out, arms out, cross the right leg on top of the left leg, bring your legs to table, draw your shins in, deep breath in. From here, exhale, arms back out and come to twist. Anchor through the left shoulder and pause here. And as you exhale, you're going to roll onto the right side of your body, making space, making room to be on the right side of your body. 
And from here, we're going to come to side plank. So you're going to prop yourself up on your forearm, extend your legs. From here, the top legs coming in with your foot, root down through the right leg and lift. From here, we're going to lower and lift, focusing on that right side. Three more breaths, three more movements, breath cycle connected with movement. Feel that heat building up in your body and exhale, lower down. Making your way back on your back. Using the chair or no chair, you can visualize you have the chair. Bring your legs to table. We're going to pretend we have the chair. Move your chair away. And from here, arms along the body, palms facing down. You're going to gently tap your foot, extend, and draw that energy in. So the leg extends and comes further in, keeping your spine in neutral, coming back to center. Tap, extend, draw that leg in. Come back to center. Don't hold your breath. Deep inhale, exhale. Almost there. It's a little bit of coordination. Notice your back. Try not to collapse your back. As you bring your leg forward, straight leg forward, one more on each side. Always hugging skin to muscle, muscle to bone, lengthening. Now draw your knees and come back to happy baby. Make sure you lengthen through the back of your neck, gently pressing your head in. And then grab your ankles or shins, bring your knees to 90 degrees and gently rock side to side, massaging through the lower back. And then bring your feet together, bring your legs back to table, hover, pretending you have the chair to slide on. We're going to extend the legs and then draw the knees in, parallel to the floor as much as you can, just visualize your lower legs sliding on the table or a chair. Exhaling out, inhaling in, and your lumbar spine is in neutral. Hugging your legs together. And hugging your knees in, pause. Hug your knees and gently shift side to side, connecting belly to thighs, gently shifting. And from here, open your arms wide to the side, bring your legs back to table. And as you exhale, gentle twist, legs together to the left, Come back to center. Remember to anchor through your shoulders without creating any tension through your neck, through your jaw. Keep your neck 
your head in neutral, gazing up, chin tucked in, lengthening through the back of the neck and strengthening by gently pressing your head down. One more on each side. And from here, draw your knees in, either a happy baby or just draw your knees in, gently rocking side to side. And then rock your head side to side. Notice if you hold any tension through your neck. And from here, extend your legs up and cross the left leg on top of the right leg. Open your arms wide, hug your legs in and exhale, come into twist to the left side. Pause, breathing into the right side of your body. Breathing to any area of tension or heaviness. If there is, just visualize that energy coming in and out, diffusing through all the cells, all the tissues. From here, exhaling, coming onto the left side. After switch, so you can see me coming into the side plank. Coming on to your forearm, bring the right leg in front of your left leg, root down through your right foot, root down through the edge of your left foot, inhale, lift, find a comfortable position here, and then exhale, lower, inhale, lift, just squeezing through the left side, your obliques, a little bit of hip, squeezing through your glutes, navel in, ribs in. And coming all the way back, coming to lie on the back and coming into a wind release pose. Draw your knees in, lift your head, lift your heart, then hug your legs in. Deep breath in, exhale, make yourself even smaller. Breathing into the entire being, abstracting the flow abstracting the wind so when we come to expand we release that wind so when you're ready your next exhalation come all the way down to shavasana extend through your legs arms palms open without touching take a deep breath in and exhale relax taking a moment to enjoy his energy to allow the benefits of this practice to settle in. Invite your intention as the mind starts to wander. Just be with your intention. I am well.
And from here, deepen the breath into your heart space. Breathing in your intention and exhaling gratitude for this body, for this breath, this morning, this day, all it has to offer. Gently begin to wiggle your fingers, your toes. And when you're ready, draw your knees into your chest. Enjoy that for a moment. <clears throat> Make your way to the right side. <clears throat> Tap in into your intention. Shifting the energy, shifting vibration. I am well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gently rising to sit wherever you are. With your eyes closed, bring your hands to your heart as you sit. Gently bowing your head to your heart, the root of your mind. Let's together resonate the sound of OM. It's a beautiful way to finish the practice and to gather that energy in. So we OM on the exhale. We always chant on the exhale. We actually should be talking on the exhale only. <laughs> the wisdom of Ayurveda. We should speak slowly and we should only speak on the exhalation. So... We're going to chant three ohms. Whenever your exhalation rises, don't worry about matching, catching, just your own ohm. Feel that energy, feel that vibration. So take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, to you wherever you are. I hope you can feel it. All love and light your way. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for your energy. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being here. Namaste.